your life has been very interesting. Yes, yeah, very interesting, and, and quite a few challenges. And, uh, yes, yes, um, yes, and and it 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 has been my faith that really and truly has enabled me to overcome quite a lot in my life. Tell me about getting married, because uh, that, that had its challenges too, didn't it? Yes, I was working in the government in Wellington and met my husband there and he proposed to me and four days later, after our marriage, we sailed for Sydney and then down to Melbourne. He was with Dalgetty's and he had gone over to open seed branches throughout yeah. Victoria. And there was much more to it than, than just just getting married. You, you took on took on a bit more of a challenge as well. Well, I suddenly became a mother <laughs> of three grown children, and they weren't like little babies with wobbly heads. They were three little personalities. And there were times when it was sort of a challenge, as you've used the word, but uh, it's paid off. The first year, maybe the first two years, I felt difficult because I didn't know anybody in Melbourne. We didn't have any relatives and the children were lonely. They had been in, in homes while their father was overseas and it was a terrible wrench for them. It was like planting bulbs in the wrong season, uprooting them from their homes, sending them to big schools. It was a big thing for the children and for me. But it's paid off. Yes. It's paid off. Yes. It really has. You With God's help all the way, it's paid off. I've spoken to a couple of people about you. Really? Oh, yes. You're quite famous. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> oh, you Ellen. Are. You're quite famous. Oh, Ellen, that's <laughs> not right. <laughs> but God has used me. That's what I was going to say. So many people say that, that your witness to others is so strong. Yes, and I trust it still is, Ellen. I trust it still is. Um, I'm living in a home and a hospital combined. And it's, it's different. A lot of people have lost their memories. A lot of them are very deaf. And how do you witness verbally to people in a bewildered home? I thank God every day for my wits living here. And I'm very blessed to be here. And in small ways, he has used me. People who have passed away, I've been with them. That's quite a special thing to do. It is. It's very special. I'm a very, very favoured child of his, I think. <laughs> Why do you think your faith is so strong? I had a very bright conversion at the age of 20. I didn't always follow closely, but I knew it was a reality for me. And it wasn't just a religion, it was a, a commitment and, and, and a companionship. Many times I've felt the presence of the Lord in my life, many, many times. All the way my Saviour leads me. What have I to ask beside? Can I doubt his tender mercy, who through life has been my guide? Not only mercy, but tender. Mm. Is that why your witness is so strong? Oh, yes. No doubt about it. No doubt about it. When I was first converted, and I didn't know how to pray, I didn't know the Bible, but I would fall on my knees by my bed and two requests. One was that I walked pleasing to God and the other was give me a passion for precious souls. And I think God 
has honoured those prayers because he has given me a passion for, for precious souls. I want everybody to believe as I believe. What would be your advice to, to a, a young Christian who was just, just starting out? Read your Bible and fellowship with other Christians. It's very important. Mature, born again Christians. It's very important in these days when Satan has unleashed the demons, it's very hard for young people to struggle. And unless they really discipline themselves and have their daily reading and fellowship in a good church with mature people, I think they find it very, very hard. And I think they'll be blown about. Do you know the thing that strikes me about you? You are, I hope you don't mind me saying your age, but you are in your 90s. 94. And yet you sh shine with an enthusiasm and a love for life that you would expect to see in someone 70 years younger. How do you do that? Well, that, that's, that's the Lord in my life. There's no, if there's anything attractive in me, I came from a complicated family. And if there's anything attractive or sparkling in me, it's his doing. And people used to say, Rui, your eyes are always shining. I said, God polishes them every morning. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And then I just say, Rua, it's been an absolute joy to meet you. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you.